Today, illegal processing in Afghanistan has made drugs cheaper and more available within the country. The result is that, increasingly, Afghans themselves are succumbing to the dangers of the country's largest cash crop. A recent United Nations survey puts the number of heroin addicts throughout the country at 50,000. That's in addition to 150,000 people who use opium. Poverty and unemployment are two causes of drug abuse. But in Afghanistan, there's another reason. During the past quarter century, so many conflicts against the Soviet, against one another, the Mujahideen civil war period, the Taliban rules and the fight against the Taliban, all of this has created a context whereby people, especially uh, internally displaced people, especially refugees, found themselves in, in dire conditions. And some of them started to use opium as a way of uh, just forgetting the daily chores and the daily difficulties and tragedies in life. Drug addiction unfortunately has come to Afghanistan, mainly as a consequence of our being refugees in our neighboring countries. It ruins families, it's uh, something that, that worries me a lot, it's something that uh, uh, we have not yet done much, unfortunately. Many of the country's addicts picked up their habit elsewhere, in neighboring Pakistan or Iran, where per capita heroin use is the highest in the world. Among them, 39-year-old Abdurrahman, who struggled 12 years with addiction. Rabbi. His life reveals a growing trend in a country where domestic drug abuse was once virtually unknown. Realizing how his addiction affected his family, Abdul Rahman quit using heroin. He is very firm about his outlook on those working in the illegal drug trade. Abdurrahman escaped from the web of addiction, but many Afghans still struggle. North of the Hindu Kush in Afghanistan is where the Central Asian steppes begin, a flat, grassy plain that stretches hundreds of miles into Russia. In Balkh province, farming and herding still prevail as a way of life. Today, the province is poppy-free, the result of the government's rigorous anti-narcotics campaign. But addiction rates are growing. And it's here where Dr. Mohammed Esan Hamra practices, serving some of the most remote parts of the country, where access to medical care is limited. Dr. Asan sees many addicts whose abuse resulted from war, displacement, or a society in chaos. However, he also encounters traditional communities where drug addiction is rampant. The UNODC estimates one-third of the people in this district, mostly Turkmen, are drug addicted. مصروف استعمال مواد مخدر آن هم به خاطر کاهش دردشان است
و عدم دسترسی به خدمات صحی باعث ازی شده که سالهای زیاد این مردم از اوپیوم یا تریاک من حیث دوای زد درد استفاده کنند و عامل اصلی را ما میره فکر میکنم که یا کارهای سنگینم مثل قالین بافی و چیزهای دیگه میکنن In a traditional village, opium addiction may look different than an urban setting. 50-year-old Najiba, a mother of five, is a carpet weaver whose rugs are sold in shops in the provincial capital of Mazara Sharif, 30 miles away. Opium also serves another purpose for rug weavers needing to keep their hands free of child caring duties. <laughs> از نظر ما یک تراژدی است یک تراژدی انسانی که یک طفل هیچ گناهی نداره که او معتاد شوه او احتیاط کسب کنه و تجربه که ما در این ساحه دارم و کارهایی که در این ساحه ما کردیم این برای من نشان داده که مادرها چا عدم آگاهی از ضرر مواد مخدر یا از ضرر تریاک یا اوپیوم و اونمو هست که طفل که هیچ گناهی نداره و گناه از این اونمو هست که جامعه فقیر مثل افغانستان جامعه که سطح آگاهی مردم آنقدر بلند نیست که از ضرر مواد مخدر بفهمند که اولاد خود که بسیار دوست داشتنی می باشند و با زندگی راحت داشته باشند زندگی آری از مواد مخدر داشته باشند Begun in childhood, or later to alleviate work-related pain, opium addiction often continues into old age.